Hey guys, it's Martine from momwarrior.com helping moms lose their baby weight and transform their bodies. And I'm actually doing my vlog. I'm doing a vlog because Imani's here, she's banging the table. Because at the start of my bikini prep, like eight weeks ago, I said that I would do, I would blog about my journey. And I wasn't planning on blogging every single week. I was gonna blog as and when I felt like it. And I blog because I genuinely enjoy writing and I like blogging and I just like doing it. But actually, I, I always seem to have like a million and one things on the go all the time. And I don't like to say there's not enough time because it's how you use your time up. Um, and I just need to allocate time elsewhere to do other things. So I thought, if I know what, I'm just gonna vlog it because I can actually explain what I wanna say even better and um, I think I can get it done quicker. And I'm one of these people that will, it, at times, like for things like this, I think, oh no, I, I need to wait until the lighting's right or um, I need to have a full face of makeup on or I need to wait till the mind's asleep. And mine is currently Mommy. running. Hello, baby, say hi. No. Wow. She's currently running up and down right now. Um, wait till she's asleep. And if you've been following me for a while, well, you will know that she naps so incredibly rarely. So there never seems to be like a right time. So then I just don't do either a vlog or a vlog. I thought, you know what? I'm just going to do it as and when because anyone that knows me, like my mum warriors, like my mum warrior tribe, they know I check in every single week. And then I will just say things how I say it, take it or you leave it. I will just be real and honest. Um, and so I'm trying to keep in mind my daughter who's running around lunatic. She's a lunatic. Um, she's the best. So yeah, there's never gonna be the right time, so I'm just gonna get on with it and say stuff. And I am, I have three weeks to go. Hi darling. I have three weeks to go until um, the UK BFF National Championships and I'm competing in the bikini category. Now, um, I am feeling good, I'm feeling ready to go, I'm excited. And the way I've done my prep, I use the same coach I used last time. It's a girl that I used to do powerlifting with actually. She's lovely, we get on really well, and she does things in a similar way or similar ethos to me, like always putting health first. And so there's no reason that if you wanna be a bikini competitor, you wanna step on stage or compete in any, any bodybuilding category, there's no reason that you have to let your hands sacrifice to, to do it. There's, there's a gradual, slower way to do it. Um, and that's the way I cho choose to do it. So even though I'm already naturally quite lean, um, I still use 12 week prep to make sure I don't have to do anything uh, last minute, um, over the top, dramatic. And you know, I watch a lot of people's um, videos. I listen to what people say on bikini prep and some stuff I'm like, you that's really, they're like over dramatized a lot of the stuff that goes on. I'm not saying it's not difficult or not challenging. It is, but I'm saying you don't have to do all some of the drastic measures that people talk about so many times. One minute, darling. It's loud. Come see with me. Yeah? There are so many times that people will say, oh, do you have to do like eat no food on the last week? Or do you have to like drink no water on the day? I'm like, no, not for, not for my, not for me anyway, for my class and for how my body reacts. I don't need to do drastic things like that. Everybody's prep will be different. And so, um, or one thing I want to say is if you're following anybody who does anything like this, don't copy their macros. You should never just have a generic macro plan. You should always be tailored to what you. Don't just follow the calories they're on. Don't follow the training schedule. You need to follow something that's gonna fit with your goals. So I'm just gonna say, say that right now. So I've got my um, notes here because um, I'm three weeks to go. Everything's going well, feeling good, feeling ready to go. I'm excited about it. Um, I would say that I have started to get scattered brain and that is when I'm, I'm not doing anything drastic as I've said, but I am starting to feel a little bit mentally and physically exhausted just because I am someone that completely consumes myself for something when I'm going into something. So for the last um, eight, no, nine, ten weeks, eight weeks, the last eight weeks I have been, nine weeks, let's get it right, Let nine weeks I have been like completely consumed by this. Uh, I just think about it all the time, I'm tracking everything, I'm doing everything as I should do in all my training sessions. Yeah, we hit your hand. So, come sit with me. Yeah. No. And I, um, so I'm thinking about it all the time. And, you know, I work, I have online clients, I have offline clients. Um, I have my daughter who keeps me very busy and she stays with me 98% of the time. So um, I feel like my brain is just ready to do the show and my baby is just ready to do the show and um, that's why I'm starting to get a little bit tired. And when I say scattered brain, what a time to bring that out. Really? You want to bring the noise into it? Yeah? Yeah. Uh, um, it's, it's just like, 
towards the end of your prep, it's the same that happened last prep, is you start to feel tired is, is one thing. Nice. I'm not really lacking energy, my energy levels are certainly different, I still have energy, but I just feel, you just forget for, honestly, the things I forget, I went to three shops today to go to the toilet and came out and didn't go to the toilet once. I feel like, I can't, it's like I can't find my words. It's like when you get tired, I'm in a calorie, calorie deficit, yeah, I know, I've not got long to left, it's like, quite, it's like crunch time right now. Money? If you can't even play with something else, can you come sit on my knee? Come say hello. Come on, come and say hello. Oh, come on, please. Yeah, but it's loud. Please, come sit with me. This is why I, I just like, just whatever, because whatever. Um, as I was saying, um, brain frog. This It's like mummy brain times 10. Like I, I still think I have mummy brain, like from pregnancy brain and all of that. I like don't seem to go away. Like I honestly don't remember anything that happened pre-Mani. Like I just don't have that memory anymore. It's like it's not important because all I need to focus about is my daughter and my husband and my family and, then, and everything gets forgotten. So now it's like that plus calorie deficit plus crunch time plus can't think. Just can't think. So I'm explaining things to someone. I'll say something like, um, shall we take the money to that place, that place that's called, you know, where they have all those, um, those things that, oh, I'm not saying anything, like I've lost my words, it just, it just gets, I don't even know what it is, it's just your concentration levels, like, just dwindle, and I definitely see a big difference, like the work that I do now, in a couple of weeks I look back at the work that I've done and be like, oh my god, there's so many mistakes there, how have I not, how have I not, notice that and it's because I've got like this brain fog going on so I have that and that's literally the only thing I'm I'm excited about everything um and I've been posting a lot of my food on Instagram if you want to follow me on there it's at Memorial official and there's um a highlight called nutrition and I've been posting all the stuff I eat on my prep because um so many people think you just starve yourself and it is not that is not the case at all like you need to eat you really need to eat Muscle, um, you need to you need to eat well, and so I've been posting a lot of my foods on there because I want people to see. Look, I'm I'm eating a lot of food, you know. I'm not I'm having like 300 grams of prawns for one of my meals. That's a lot of prawns. That's two packets, 150 grams each. That's a lot. I normally have like half the packet of prep. Like I'm now eating two packets together plus like eight egg whites or, or something. You know, my foods don't always look pretty. They don't always look perfect, but they just they fit my macros because I do a macro plan. I don't do if it fits your macros. It is flexible dieting, but I don't eat crap. And I know people like to talk, talk, call it, um, oh, they, it's very bro, it's bro food. I'm like, it's not bro food. Why did we have to label everything? I just eat healthy, balanced meals. Now my plates don't look so balanced as they would off prep because I'm trying to hit my macros. But throughout the day, I'm balancing my food. Um, so if you want to check that out, it's at Mumware Official on Instagram and you can see some of the food I'm posting. I'm going to keep doing it because I've been getting loads of messages saying this is really helpful to me. I never knew you eat so much food, um, how many calories you run, and, and I, I don't really focus so much on calories, but it, I am, I've never gone below 1200 calories and um, I have never gone below 130 carbs so far. Um, that is how my body is working. Everybody will do it differently, as I said, so that's just what works for me. What else do I want to tell you guys? I have everything ready. I bought my bikini from an awesome place called Muscle and Daddle. I didn't get my last bikini from there because I, knew I hadn't discovered them, but I've discovered these guys and they are amazing. Their service is phenomenal. So I have my bikini. I did post a little sneak peek on Instagram, but I'm not gonna, I'm, I only tried it on briefly because it's, so, it's not delicate, but I think it's delicate. Like I don't want anything to go wrong with it. So. I won't show it until uh, the day of the competition. I've got my bag packed and I will probably do a vlog on the day if I'm not like ridiculous nervous, which I will be. Um, so I'll do as much as I can on the day, but I will show you what's in my bag, which is a phenomenal stuff. And Muscle and Dazzle have this amazing, all comprehensive yeah. bikini prep pack list, which is everything that you need to take with you, which is a lot. And I am not a light traveler as it is. So I've literally gone for everything on the list and make sure I've got it. Even if I think I'm never going to use that, I'm packing it. It's going in the bag. So um, I've posted the, the, if you want to check out that packing section, you just go to Muscle Dazzle. I think it's MuscleDazzle.com. 
or you just Google it and you'll find it. But yeah, I've got that all there. Uh, there's just so much you need, there's so much you need to spend. Um, and this is my second competition. I did one, like, uh, it's six years ago I did it. In my head, I've been talking to myself, like, yeah, I did one a couple of years ago. Like, time flies. Six years ago is when I last did a competition. It was with the UK BFF, and it was called The Stars of Tomorrow. It is a competition that you do if you've never competed before. So it's the first time you've, you must be the first time you've ever stepped on stage, which it was for me. And the reason I got into it is because before that, I was powerlifting. That was what I did. And I was British champion, European champion. I came third at the World Champions world championships and I loved powerlifting I still love it I love strength sports I love uh, heavy weights low reps I don't like high rep stuff even that's what I do now and um, it, that was all going to swim me and then it injured my back and I've actually got a bulgy disc and whilst I was recovering I wanted to do something that I could participate in so I love to compete and stuff so I actually whilst my back was recovering properly I started competing in um, I started looking at this competition and that's why I entered it and um, I also injured my back through doing Ninja Warrior I fell off a high bar in practice um, so I hurt my back again and then I did this competition was I was um, trying to heal my back so I was doing all high rep stuff and nothing that was too heavy that's going to put a strain on me or on my back and then after that this is where the time has just gone after that my goal after the competition was to make sure my back was fully healed so that I can actually wear the heels that I wanted to wear on my wedding day that was like my goal that's my new training goal and so then I got married I went on my honeymoon I um got pregnant, I had Imani, I breastfed her for two years, and then I was like, okay, I'm ready to, to do something again. And actually, when I did the Stars of Tomorrow competition, I really enjoyed it more than anything, because I actually entered it for a challenge, something different to do, something I could do whilst I was waiting for my back to recover, and I didn't realize how much I'd enjoy it. So I, I absolutely loved it. I kept my place third then. So this, this competition, obviously, everybody wants to place. I want to do as well as I possibly can and see where I can go from here. So I'm really looking forward to it. I can't believe it's been six years since I've done it. Um, and you know what? This time, I feel more driven now than I did before. I'm not exactly sure what the driving force is. Uh, back then, before I, I was married, uh, before then, I wasn't married, didn't have a money, didn't live with my husband, I lived separately. And then we got married and moved in together and had money and like this... And... And I, back then I used to own a gym so I had ah uh, the time I had I didn't I didn't say you don't know how much time you've got so you've had children and you like and, you, and then you realise how much time you've had that is so true like oh when people used to tell me I was pregnant make sure you sleep why did I not listen to that because now my time is so minimal but I actually think it helps me because because I know I have a limited time there is no time for me to faff about at all so I will go to the gym if I've got an hour I am busting my gut for an hour because I've got to get back and get money if I'm working at home which is where I do most of my workouts actually with the money around I will just just get on with it. It will be interrupted. It won't be like a regular session. It will be frustrating at times, but I will just do it. Like my, my time has to be more structured now than ever because I have, I don't have less of it, and more of it is used up. So before I, ha I knew I had no idea how good I had it. I was living on my own. I could prep my meals really easily. I didn't have to think about any one or anything else. I, I owned and worked at a gym. I could just, oh, it was so much easier then. But now I feel like I have extra drive i want to do it for myself actually more than anything because i really really enjoy it and this is something like i don't have the busiest social life i've never been like that. i've always been into my books into nutrition and learning and education and all that kind of stuff and i'm quite happy to be at home with a glass of wine chilling um so my social life never been crazy hectic or anything like that but now my social life is busy with children's things so actually it's, I, I don't have the best adult social life but i do do a lot with my daughter and because i have her uh for most of the time she comes with me everywhere i go so my social life is a little bit different it's often at uh what are they called messy play you know um soft play areas and stuff like that but um I just feel like i've got an extra drive. I'm doing it for me because I enjoy it, but I also want 
to make my daughter proud. It, it, I, I find it funny that thinking about when I step on stage this time, it's been six years, two and a half years ago she was in my stomach still and now she's going to be in the audience clapping and cheering for me. So that really motivates me to want to do well and I just... I just really, really enjoy it, and I and, and I actually feel like because I don't have such a like a flamboyant social life, that this is almost like a social event for me. It's like I get to dress up, I get to do my hair and makeup, I get to have my nails. So it's almost like a spa day and a night down a night out on the town, but I'm not doing all the naughty things like drinking, just to clarify. And um, yes. I'm doing something for me that I enjoy. And she's going to stay with my mum the night before. And so I won't see her until after the competition because I actually think that the talent you have to have, like you have to have that, no, ma no matter what colour you are, what race you are, what colour hair you've got, whether you're ginger, you're blonde, black, everybody has to have this tan and it's super dark and I actually think it's going to freak her out a little bit. So I'm not going to see her until after the competition, uh, but I know that she'll be there. So I feel like I've had a, an evening and a full day, because it's going to be a long day, to myself, which is probably really sad, but... I'm I'm really looking forward to that. I'm just I'm looking forward to it. Just dressing up, dress. I get to dress up for the day, and I, it's yeah. You're probably like yeah. I do that every weekend. Well, I don't. So this is going to be awesome for me. Um. So I'm not sure when I'm going to vlog again. It'll probably be on the day of the competition. I don't know when this is going to go up or when that one's going to go up because um, it's whenever I get this out, I suppose. I hopefully I could do it today. It depends on the money, really. Um, so if anyone has any questions that they want to ask or want videos that you want me to cover, comment below and let me know what you want me to go to, whether that's about bikini prep, about the food that I'm eating, or just in general weight loss, because I don't actually specialise in bikini prep, I do specialise in, um, I'm a, <clears throat> I help women lose weight, um, particularly mums. I do also have a 12 week ultimate transformation programme which you won't see advertised anywhere like on Facebook or anything like that or even on my website because I only take on five clients per year. It is for those that are dead set on transforming their bodies that will do it at all costs. Like They want to do it and they're ready to really work for it. It's not an easy programme to follow. It's online, it's direct with me, it's a lot of involvement for me which is why I only take on five clients per year and it's... Um, it's if you want results you will do this program basically but you've got to be ready to do it um so i don't advertise it anywhere um there is a space coming up soon not yet but soon so that's why i'm saying it now so if you want information on that you can email me or if you just want information on anything else that i do you can check out mumwari.com any comments any questions comment below i think I've got, I've got my notes here um yeah, I don't think there's anything else to say. Prep is going good. It's A-OK. -okay. Tan's booked. I'm not getting someone to do my hair because um, my hair, I know it isn't looking like right now because it is actually terrible right now, but I have afro hair. It's quite tight. It's quite hard to manage. And I'm not sure. Um, it's just easier if I just do it. It's just easier if I just do it. And uh, makeup, no one's not doing it for me. I'm not doing that. Oh, God, the sticky expenses just rack up. So I'm going to actually do it myself. Um, I'm not bad at doing makeup. I just don't really do it very often. Um, but I'm, so I'm actually quite looking forward to doing that as well. That's quite sad. I'm looking forward to doing my makeup. Like, really going, like, full out. My, my brother's girlfriend's been doing my eyelashes. So I put false extent um, eyelashes on because... I've worn them like once or twice, maybe ever. I don't know how to do it. I'm crap at stuff like that. So she's going to put them on so, and do that for me. So I think that is it. Post any questions that you have below, any topics you want me to cover. Um, and that's it. I will see you either. You're, the next time you see me in a video like this, it will probably be um, the day of the competition or shortly after when the vlog will go up. Um, or maybe in between, if there's been lots of questions and stuff like that, I may do it in between now and then, but we'll see. Thank you for watching, and there's three weeks to go, and I will see you all soon. Bye!